everybody this is Frank Obama here and welcome to another edition of the Boston trip today is April 18th 2018 and here's daddy yeah just made it in time the train's yep. gonna leave in one minute yep so we're here on the train today and we have we're going to be doing um uh, a few interesting things in Boston today and uh, right now we're here on the train we just got here on the train um, yeah, we were running. We were, were running a tiny bit late. Well, um, although we did manage to get to the train, and um, and uh, we're still able to do the intro. We have some pancakes as well. But we're gonna eat those when we when we're on the road. Are we? Actually, <laughs> minute late. And we are now moving. You hear the sound of the bell. I think that's coming from the cab car. Well, it is coming from the cab car. As today we are riding backwards. And this train is going backwards. And um, a cab car is going to be leading us to Boston. So here we are exiting Province Station. There's a massive pool of water over there. Yep, they're still working on this construction site on a new building. Um, not sure what's going to be just yet, but uh, there it is. Yep. So now to explain the plan for today. So the last Boston trip that we went on, we went on to wasn't the greatest. Um, it was freezing cold and we were freezing our bones off and unfortunately uh, we couldn't do everything that we wanted to do. But today we're going to make up for that. So today we're only going to be going to two places, well three if you count lunch. Um, so when we went to North Station last time, it was freezing cold, so today we're going to go to North Station again. But this time, we're not going to be freezing and we're going to hopefully stay there for some time to watch the trains. And then, um, after that we're going to go to Prudential Mall and have California pizza. And then we're going to head to the best location in the whole of Boston. And that is Four Sills that we're going to stay there for, um, a few good hours watching the trains go by. And, um, since it's the weekday, uh, we'll be seeing a bunch of trains today. So. Um, today should be a fun day. Um, so we're going to be getting off of Back Bay and we're going to be taking the Orange Line to North Station to start off the journey today. So uh, we will meet you at Back Bay. So are we getting off at Back Bay? Yep. So would you like to say something? Well, the tickets are very expensive now. Mm. 575 for a, 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 a senior and 1150 for an adult. Mm. It really went up a lot. See? You want to look at those close? See down here, here's the price. You going to zoom in? Yep. This is called a Charlie card. Mm. This is the senior. It's a. Uh, 575. Mm. You zooming in? Yep. Can you see it? Yep. So now we put these up here so the conductor can can take them. And then we got the ones coming home in my pocket. Mm. So we don't have to get tickets. Excellent. We can go anywhere we want. So here's the pancakes. You said last night you said six each? Uh, I think so. You got more than that. Hmm. So there they are, they're still warm. Yep, so we'll meet you guys at Back Bay. And now we're outside here at Back Bay. There's a bunch of people on the train, so it was a bit of a challenge getting off the train, but here we are.
missed the train. Yeah. I was a bit frightened. So right there is a train which is possibly from the Needham Heights line because we know that we when we were going past Forest Hills, we noticed that that train was, was on the other track going a bit slower. So so our train was uh, filled with a crowd of people and stuff. And um, yeah, I was a bit frightened if I was gonna get off the train or not, but thankfully now me and Daddy are off the train. And uh, we noticed that we could hear the bell, so uh, we were definitely inside the cab car. And uh, we were and our power for the day was that um, was the wing locomotive that I still can't remember the name of and um, I believe this train has the uh, the MPI blah 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 locomotive which I can't remember the name of either let's go <laughs> so anyways now that we're here at Back Bay it's off to the orange line here's the old steam engine wheels this is the first time I managed to get a movie of them up close it's quite cool And that sound of the diesel locomotive really shakes up the building. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it does. <sighs> Good one. <laughs> so here we are in Back Bay with the uh, little trolley card machine. We've got quite a few thingies. Now Daddy will demonstrate how to pay for a trolley card. Off to the orange line. It's so beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna be taking the train to Oak Grove. But now we're gonna to run to the front of the train to see if we can get to the front car. But here comes the train. Back bang. Oh dear, there's a bunch of people. Let's go in this one, there's no No station. Now we're 
off to North Station. All right. And we will see you there. And here we are at the outside of North Station. Not too many people out here today. Um, unfortunately, no Danisa train. But on the upside, there are a bunch of other trains. MBJ trains, more specifically. So we're here in North Station, and we're going to be here for quite some time. Uh, we'll be hopefully see lots of trains going in and out of the station. It is a weekday, so we should be seeing lots of them. But I guess we'll see what happens. the exterior of North Station. Um, so today it's nowhere near as cold as it was when we originally came here back in February and we will actually be able to stay here. Um, I'm going to have to put my gloves on but that's okay because we brought the tripod today. So we'll be able to put the camera on the tripod which means that we'll be able to smoothly get the trains going in and out of the station. Uh, one just came into the station and uh, I do apologize for the shakiness. Unfortunately I was walking but um, now we're just setting up the tripod, getting ready to film the trains. I noticed over here they have these brown looking ties. I think those are like, I don't know, for some reason those look like plastic ties to me, but they could be just cement ties, but really dirty looking. Um, there is the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, remember the last time I showed you Rainbow Bridge? Yeah, Rainbow Bridge is right there. And we'll actually be able to get a good shot of it this time. In the station, there's various different types of trains. Well, I say various, there's the there's MBTA trains with all three locomotives, that being the F40, the uh, the, the flying one, and the, the new one. I still can't remember the name of, of the other two locomotives, but at least we know the F40. And also, I noticed over here, you've got like these walkover things. I'm not sure why those are there, but there must be some reason. There's the drawbridge, and the drawbridge, it seems to only open up during the, the summertime. Uh, so we won't be seeing it open up today, but at least we will be able to see some trains.
some other reason that Trinley just left, came to a dead stop. I guess it was at a red signal. Actually, zoom in. Yep, that signal light was red. And now it has proceeded through the station and now it's off to uh, somewhere north of Massachusetts. And meanwhile, another train pulled into the station and somewhere over there. So we have one train going in and one train going out. So now there's no train on that track and the camera was facing a bit down so I had to adjust the camera um, so we can see what happens when the next train uh, comes or goes. Amtrak. What's his name? Bird Dick? I think so. You can make one. So there's a train leaving. There it is. stuff going on. Please notice that there's a uh, electronic sign thingy board over here. Quite interesting. As you see it changes um, signs and stuff. Um, yeah there seems to be a lot of football uh, action going on over here. And apparently now everyone's entering the playoffs. It's kind of weird because we're about to go into um, the summertime and the NASCAR season is um, well, nowhere near the playoffs. The train from nowhere. <laughs>
So here's the um, schedule board that they have here at our station. Unfortunately, there's a train boarding right now, so unfortunately, um, uh, we're inside now because we're not taking a break. So unfortunately, I won't be able to film the train that's leaving right now. However, we are going to be going out, um, back outside in a few minutes to catch um, some more trains, if that's possible. So unfortunately, we're going to miss a couple trains that might be arriving or leaving, but um, oh well. There seems to be workers on the tracks today. Um, I guess they're now taking out the points and seeing if they're uh, doing their stuff. Um, the train, the locomotive actually came to a stop in front of us and actually did uh, blow the horn for a bit. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the horn, but um, oh, well, at least I got the horn uh, when it was leaving. And um, it seems like I unintentionally kicked the tripod a bit, so uh, there's a bit of uh, shaking stuff going on, but at least I was able to get the train leaving. So we're gonna wait for one more train and then we will be um, off to do something else.
here and check down Easter train. They just pulled into the station. It's running about 20 minutes late. They should have been here by 10.50, but it is now 11.10. Uh, but uh, definitely it was worth staying here long enough to see it coming through. Um, yeah, I kind of keep the tripod again, but... Uh, um, oh, well, at least we saw the train. And that's actually, I think that's the first time we ever saw an airport down Easter train pulling into the station. And it's the first time we have that camera as well. So um, definitely worth staying here long enough for the airport down Easter train. Okay, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, so here's Daddy. So um, now we've been here in North Station for um, a while. Uh, definitely worth staying for the air truck down Easter train. But now we're going to catch the Orange Line, and we're going to head to Preden and we're going to head to Back Bay. And then we're going to walk over to Prudential Mall, have some uh, California pizza, and then we'll be off to Forest Hills. So we shall see you um, at the Orange Line. Okay, let's go. Those workers on the bridge are, are what's causing the train to just suddenly stop and then um, on the ground normal again. It's kind of weird, but I guess because of all the winter months have now passed ish, um, now all the workers are there um, doing the thingy with diggies. <laughs> Look at how cool that light looks. Too bad the camera's out of focus. But here comes the train. And now we're back at Back Bay Station. Yeah, do you know where to go now? Yep. Which exit? Something. Attention passengers. The next orange line train to Oak Road now arrives. That's Back Bay. Uh, I know that's Back Bay. I'm looking for a Prudential building. Uh, no idea where that is. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
So we kind of figured it out. We're going to try to go from there to there to there of what the potential center, which is there. So we're going to go out. Only question What's is, where do we go to? the name of this street. Clarodon. This is it. Right. So we take this exit and we'll possibly be able to uh, find our way. This place still looks a bit weird. I think these are like glass windows or something. Ow. The next oh, bro, train arrives in five minutes. Look at how high that building is. Anyways, now we're here on the exterior of Back Bay, and this is Daddy's phone that I brought out, and we're gonna try to find our way to go to Prudential Mall from Back Bay. Now this is all new territory for us. We've never actually gone from Back Bay to Prudential before. However, we have done it in the opposite direction. Uh, but at the same time, this is gonna be all new territory for us. So let's see if we can rely on Daddy's GPS to help us find the way. What an ugly color. There's a Corvette over there, painted in yellow. Now we're up here on the Copley Bridge, and we believe that if we walk across here, we will find California Pizza on the right, I think. Turns out that we made a wrong turn, and this was this is nowhere near the place where we're supposed to go to. We actually have to be down uh, on the street, and then we have to walk for things. Look at this guy. Yep, I see the sky. The building right there. Uh, I don't think that's Prudential. It says Prudential right up there on top. By it the does? Tower. You're not looking. Uh... Put the camera down a minute. <laughs> there it is. We found the Prudential building. So we have to somehow get over there. Well, well, this is a very convenient thing. Um, they have now shut down the escalator so we can't go down there. And now we are forced to take the stairs. Uh, this is one of those automatic spinny thingies. It saves you time from going through the proper door. Oh, and I just realized there's lots of space. All well, you have to keep the flow going by not stopping. I don't know, somebody did. Check those out. These are the Boston Duck Tours. There it is, California Pizza Kitchen. So now that we're here, we can have some pizza. Here we are at California Pizza. It took a bit of time to get here, but um, now we're here. So now we're gonna have some pizza, then we'll meet you back as we head. So as we get to the bottom of this escalator, we just came from California Pizza and had a nice pizza. Although the dessert was, um, well, not so great. But, oh well, at least we had a good lunch. Now we're filled up and now we are ready to, now we're going to head back to the Orange Line in Back Bay. And then after that, it's the best part of the whole journey. So now we're gonna make our way back to Back Bay and we will see you there. Xfinity, sponsor of the NASCAR Xfinity series. Duh. This place is quite impressive. There's the uh, American flag and some statue. That's a shortcut to the highway, I think. the best place in all of Boston. Yep, there are quite a few places in here in Boston that I like, but Forest Hills is probably at the top. And there's one important reason as to why. You see, Forest Hills is a special station because it's, um, it's a station on the line where not even the MBTA trains stop here. Nope, all of the trains, whether it be Amtrak, Acela, or MBTA, um, they don't stop here at the station. Well, except for the MBT trains that go to Needham Heights, but there's not too many of those. But 
basically every train that is on the Northeast Corridor doesn't stop here. Which is why Forest Hills is such a cool place. So, um, so here at Forest Hills we're going to do what we similarly did at uh, North Station. We're going to set the tripod and watch some trains. Already we have the first train of the day. Um, tripod is still being set up, but in the meantime we can watch this train go by. Ah, uh, yes. I also might get a few movies of the Orange Line trains as they go by, but only a few, because we're going to be here for a good few hours, so I'm not going to get too many movies of the Orange Line trains, but, uh, you know, just because I don't want to bore you guys to death. And the majority of the trains that will be seen here will be the ones of the Northeast Corridor. Train coming! Train. comes another train. Yeah. So it seems that today, for some odd reason, all day long, I've been accidentally kicking on the on the the uh, the the the, the, uh, the tripod for some odd reason. You know, it happened um it happened a couple of times at North Station. And now it's happening a few times. So it changed to yellow. A couple of times here. And also, we were taking a look at the signal aspects. Let me quickly get the camera to the right position so I can show you it. So we were taking a look at the signal aspects of and how they work and stuff. And we noticed that the center light was doing interesting things because all the lights were red at one point, uh, but then the light on the center track changed to green, and then uh. and then when the train went just went through on the center track, the the uh, the middle light changed to other interesting colors. Like I think the bottom changed to yellow, and I think the top was green at one point. 
but now it's red, which shows that a train has occupied the block. Give him a train on the platform. How cool is that? We even got a horn. I guess he was just saying hello. You know? You know he knew that there were some real fans on the platform, so he figured I'm gonna say hello by blowing the horn. And it was quite cool as well. So we got our uh, first train horn, which is quite nice. I always like to get a train horn. Now here's an orange line. Now the train, this is going slow. Uh, nope, it's coming this way. Nope, it's coming right through here. Super slow. That's a shame. The one Acela that comes by after a million years gets blocked by a MBTA train. I don't like that. Of course. There's an Acela Express train that comes by, but an MBTA train has to come along and ruin it. Thanks, MBTA. Thanks.
working because that was red on the center line, and that's where solar went by 100 miles an hour. So I don't, I don't get it. Now it changed to yellow. That's the Needham Heights line train. Yep, it's turning. Uh, so I'm slightly baffled by the fact that the, that earlier me and Daddy were questioning if there were going to be any Amtrak trains today. And of course, when the one of Salt Lake Express goes by, there just happens to be an MBTA train right in the way. So we couldn't get a movie of the Acela. But thankfully, well, we know it wasn't Acela because we looked through the corner of the MBTA train. There was indeed an Acela there. But uh, we couldn't catch it live, so there better be an Acela Express coming by here later. And we better get it properly on movie, or else I will not be one happy person. Another Needham Heights line train. Well, at least that train had a nice engineer. Yeah, you guys are friendly. Did you get the horn? Yep. It's an Amtrak train. What engine is it? ACS 64. ACS 64, pulling the regional. Signals don't mean anything yep. the red. Well, we finally saw an Amtrak train today. And here's Daddy. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, quite nice that we finally saw an Amtrak train finally. today. Finally. Yeah, and the best part, well, you know, it was pulled by an AC-64. Well, okay, that's not really surprising that it was pulled by an AC-64. But obviously, I just like the AC-64 because it's a cool-looking locomotive. And it was built by Siemens, which is German. Another Amtrak train. That's the second Amtrak we've seen today.
And now this is the part of the video where we switch to a different tape. So, so far today, we uh, here in Forest Hills, we've seen two Amtrak trains. Um, we saw a bunch of MBTA trains, so many that have lost count. And would have seen in Nacella if it weren't blocked by an MBTA. MBTA. Well, we got another train horn today. This, one, this, this track is green. Wow. Now, what color is the light? That one tried to blow me over. Yeah. What <laughs> color is the light? So now the light is red. But now it's time to go orange. train horns today. That was uh... Ooh, here comes another train. It's the Asala Express. Yay, Asala at last. Yep, remember what I, when I said about train horns? There you go. Well, he's got another one, yeah. and from the Asola Express. Yeah. MBTA. MBTA. MBTA.
today we've seen so many trains that we've lost count of how many we've seen today. Um, I believe um, that was a eight car double decker train and now right suddenly after that another MBTA train is coming So now it's time to get a movie of this one that previous train had that MPI blah blah locomotive I still can't remember the name of but now it's the good old F40 Here comes the train from Needham Heights. Ding, 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 dang, dong. It's gonna let some people off. Yep. I don't think they have too many people on that train. That's odd. Oh, maybe he forgot he was stopping and so he decided to just do other things. Hmm. He's possibly going to reverse back. Nope, he's going. Going very slowly. That must be a red. I know there's an F40 coming on this track. I guess he's gonna pull over to the Needham Heights line. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess that MBTA train is now waiting for that other MBTA train to go on the Needham Heights line. Yeah, it's not the greatest scheduling practice in the world, I will say. Yep.
MBTA has stopped. And if we zoom to the other side. That train is still stopped. So either he's waiting at a red light or he's just playing games. Yeah. Oh, a Cell Express! Yes, a Cell Express is coming! And this time it's not going to get completely and utterly ruined. with that train up there. I don't know why it stopped. It could be at a stop at a red light, but I guess we'll have to see what that train does next or if it's just we might just wait there all day long. We'll have to see. We'll update you guys on the train if it does anything. Amtrak train. Sometime later, and now the train's moving. Not sure why it was stopped there for some time, but oh well, at least it's on the road now. You got a generator, it's an alternator. Actually. Yep. So me and Daddy were just talking about locomotives and things and how they work. Um, we were just discussing how the revs were um, lower at idle, how the F40 always stays at max revs even when it's idling, whereas this new locomotive here, the MPI blah blah blah, we just call it, um, it revs quieter when it's at idle. Well, obviously that's because the revs drop uh, when it's idling, whereas the F40 always is at max revs, and that's why the F40 is double the screamer, if you guys didn't already know that. And then we were also discussing um, diesel electric stuff, and um, um, well actually, Daddy, would you like to explain it? I just did, didn't you? Well, not quite. Uh, uh, you say the thingies. Oh, and by the way, the F40 train, I mean, the F40, the MBTA train is now switching over to the middle track. Oh. So I guess it's doing things, I'm not entirely sure. MBTA coming. Also, um, whenever a train comes on the platform, like the one that just went by, um, the train approaching, please remember behind the yellow line sign comes on, but um, 
for some reason it's not for the other two tracks but i guess that's because you know obviously only one track goes by the platform and the other two tracks don't go by the platform so i guess there's no reason for the train approaching um sign for i guess any regular people that are just coming here but for real fans it would be quite nice so this way we know if there's a train coming so we can get our camera set up in time So it seems that now we go into rush hour, which is starting right now. Um, I guess we get more Amtrak trains. And right now is currently 4.33 p.m. Eastern time. And we're gonna be here for another hour before we have to go home. But, uh... trains on the south side are cleaner than the ones on the north side. Yeah. You notice that? Hmm. Yeah. Tell you. Yeah. So yeah, so we have officially reached rush hour and uh yeah. <laughs> that again. <laughs> well we got a burp from Daddy. Which is quite nice. I'll have to remember to turn up the volume on that when I when I eventually edit this. <laughs> so anyways, um yeah, so now that's rush hour period we're uh, me and Daddy are wondering how many people are going to be on our train when we eventually go home as that train will be one that goes during rush hour. So we'll have to hope that it's one of those eight car double decker trains like the one that we just saw. Otherwise we might be in a bit of a passenger pickle I guess. MBTA. train not going as fast as the other ones hmm I smell that recognition dust stuff I guess <laughs> MBTA
MBTA once again. Yeah, so earlier also me and Daddy were just discussing. Um, you guys know how the orange line when it you know goes comes in and out of Forest Hills, how it makes all the banging noise. Uh, me and Daddy were wondering if they, if that issue would possibly be, be resolved on the new orange line trains that be, that are going to be coming next year. I guess we'll have to see what happens. Next year, they might. Yeah. So for some reason, that previous train that we just saw suddenly came has suddenly going really slow now, but. Uh, that's okay because now there's a train coming on this platform. Another MBTA train. Oh, this one's going to be an Needham Heights train. This is the train to Needham Heights. MBTA once again.
<laughs> Whoa, would you look at that? That's burp number two. No me invité It's been fun, but unfortunately now it's time to leave Forest Hills. Kind of crazy that we have um, quite a bit of footage here, but fortunately Daddy is eager to go, so it's now time to follow him and uh, time to kick the orange line train as we're about to go home. Good old Asala Express. The next Oak Grove train arrives in five minutes. We can't go one Boston trip without a good old speed up joke. And here we are at Ruggles. So this is the station where we're going to catch the train um, going home. And we also heard a train going by, um, although we kind of missed it because Daddy got a bit lost. But uh, we're here at Ruggles, we made good time, and now we're going to be catching our train home here. Hopefully there aren't too many passengers on board, but I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, and there's also some birds. Lovely. There's a train coming.
It looks rain. Sometime later, here we are at South Attleboro Station, and now everybody is um, now off the train. There were so many passengers on this particular um, car that we couldn't find a seat anywhere. But thankfully, now we have this little seat right here. And notice that we skipped a few stations. We didn't stop at Route 148 or Canton Junction um, or Hyde Park, and, and uh, we, we didn't stop until Sharon which is interesting. But thankfully now this particular car is uh, mostly unloaded and now we have little seats and now we can do the outro. So as the train departs South Arbor, um yes. So, um, yeah, the previous Boston trip, obviously I said at the beginning that the previous Boston trip wasn't, um, wasn't that great. However, this Boston trip was definitely, um, definitely made up for it. We did a bunch of things today. Well, not really, but we did see a bunch of trains today over in North Station and Forest Hills. We stayed at Forest Hills for a total of three hours and a half and saw about 20-ish trains. We're not actually sure, but um, we, you know, we, we could um, challenge you guys watching the video to leave a comment of how many trains that you saw at Forest Hills and how many trains that you saw total in this video, whether it be at North Station or Forest Hills. And thankfully, we were able to stay at um, North Station for a long time because the weather today was actually decent and it did get a bit cold for Daddy over at Forest Hills and Daddy was um, was uh, leaving Forest Hills and I had to run after him but uh, thankfully we we made it to the Orange Line now we've made it to the train and now we're on our way to Providence Station So that's going to wrap up today's video. Well, with that having been said, we hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Daddy here to say... See you next time. And? Bye. And? 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 You're forgetting one important thing. Don't forget to say thanks for watching. Much thanks for watching. And? Bye. <laughs>